our member judges. We, Team Gallup, would like to welcome you to our first round of edition of Team Gallup. Team Gallup. Only time it starts to happen. The scenario we are going to provide you goes something like this. Bangladesh, being a country where drugs... We will just take this. Bangladesh being a country where pills and medications are available without prescriptions and through OTC, over, over the counter process, has given way to the to drug pills being available to general mass more easily and it is start, the habit of popping uh, popping pills is turning into a almost a culture. So the government it's high time the government should intervene and shift this habit of popping pills in, into a healthier diet. So before intervening, government should look into these problems to identify them on a case. First is habit of habit of popping pills. And second is lack of indigenous knowledge about the consumption of healthy food and vegetables. So, so following these problems, we should approach in this manner, like making people aware of unwanted side, side effects and control the unregulated usage of meds. Ensure access to healthy foods, communicating the ingenious knowledge of consuming healthy food and vegetables, shifting people's behavior from dependency on meds and healthy foods. So, our recommendation to the government is not something as vague as like just go and promote and uh, communicate to the general mass out of open. It is something solid. First, we are ensuring the mass that Yes, there and we are ensuring the transparency to the general mass that there is healthy food out there. There are uh, uh, healthy diet systems available and more accessible to the general mass. And then comes the awareness phase where we are letting people know uh, through our promotions and strategies that drugs do have bad side effects and there are, from the our ensuring phase, there are better food out there. Then comes the shifting phase. This is the more total uh, strategic phase where we are actually shifting the habit of uh, popping pills to the more healthier dietary approach. And that, that is, we will imply this to our can approach. And lastly comes the feedback. Uh, is our strategy working well? Is it, is, it, is it really effective? And moving on. Here comes our ensuring strategy. So this is the first phase of our program. Actually there are four stages. The ensuring strategy actually, uh, we need to ask ourselves, what the government is to ask itself, that what actually they are ensuring. They are ensuring the availability of fresh foods and fresh vegetables to the main public. So they have to improve the access to retail stores. But how can they do that? They can provide uh, financial incentives which we have named FFI, Fresh Food Financing Initiative. Uh, in this uh, stage, the government will uh, take the role of the third party intermediaries or the, uh, that the agents actually do in our country. They will collect the foods from the villages, from the uh, farmers and the firms and they will uh, actually provide these foods to the fruits and vegetables to the retail stores and because they are the government, they can influence the retail stores, the grocery store owners to accept and these foods and to sell them on shelves. And how will they do that? They will do that by providing a bit financial incentive incentives. The second phase is our another program which, which we have named Firm to Institution Program. The Firm to Institution Program uh, focuses on the delivery of these goods. Like uh, we are in a locality where there are various schools, colleges, uh, government companies, private firms, etc. Uh, if the government actually takes this policy and uh, runs it into the action, what will they do? The institutions can actually uh, deal with the firms directly. They can uh, collect the fresh foods, the fresh vegetables from them, and they can serve it in their cafeterias and workers, which is our third step. Via various promotional strategy, various ad campaigns, various SNS marketing and SNSs, we will ensure that the institutions such as school, colleges, and other uh, various work workplaces will not only buy these uh, fresh foods and vegetables, but they will also serve this as, uh, as uh, dishes in their menus instead of junk foods. And the last one is incorporate food vegetables activities in school and colleges, which will be automatically done if we can uh, execute the first two steps. Moving on now to ensure that the people of 
obtain a healthy diet and make a that habit of having a healthy diet, we are going to use the CAN approach, which basically has three methods. One of the methods is making it a habit, which basically means uh, we are going to divide all the people in general into five major sectors where the food intake is the largest, and we are going to and we are going to distribute uh, the method as such. Uh, at home, for example, the homemakers can serve salads at every meal to make it a habit for the family members to intake healthy food at a greater uh, rate. And at grocery stores, the clients can be given uh, flashy or bright uh, directions so that they are attracted more towards the sector where they sell vegetables, fish, and other healthy stuff. And then the food courts, they themselves can uh, serve uh, items at menus showing that the healthiest items are chef specials because most clients are drawn towards the chef, uh, chef specials. And then at schools, uh, kids can be encouraged to make it a habit of having uh, more healthy food if they are uh, given this sort of an offer that uh, they will be given a special snack for every healthy item that they intake. And lastly, at offices uh, for corporate people, notices can be set up in cafeterias and other places so that uh, they are more aware of their health and they can take healthy food. Another method is convenience or making it more, making the healthy food more accessible to the people. How can we do that at home? For example, at home um, we have burgers or cheese or here and there everywhere available in fridges or they're just very easy to reach. If, if we replace those with healthier food, for example, fruits and vegetables instead of a cookie jar or cheese, family members will tend to lean more towards eating healthy every day. Also, at grocery stores, uh, we can again highlight the healthy food section by just highlighting that sector basically. And then at food courts, we can uh, pop the healthier items at the beginning so that it draws the attention of the customers the most. And at schools, uh, for example, when kids or the uh, school students are forming lines to gather food, we can place the, uh, the healthiest items at the beginning or end of the line so that you know, it's more accessible to them. And then uh, at offices, we can make their food cheaper and more portable because corporate people like to eat fast and so they'll probably more, be more attracted to it. Moving on, uh, the third method that we can use under the CAN approach is to make it visually attractive. People are drawn towards more attractive things and people are drawn towards more attractive food as well. Therefore, at home, the homemakers can serve very well-dressed salad or very well -looking, uh, good looking salads to attract the family members for healthy intake. At the grocery store, uh, we can attract the clients by offering recipes with fish or fruit and vegetables so that they are tempted to buy those even more. And at food courts, the names themselves can be more healthy, more appealing so that it draws more customers. And at schools, uh, children are drawn to colors as we all know. So we can serve them in colorful balls or signs to attract them towards healthier food even more. And uh, lastly, at offices, uh, we can uh, the make the cafeterias or the brown bags more appealing just so that the office people are attracted to it more. And studies show that kind of approach when applied has been very, very beneficial. Moving on. So, uh, this is also a very important part of our C12 project, which is Change to Big Project. This is PBH, which stands for Public Health Panelists. So, what we're actually trying to do here, we are trying to break the intergenerational dependence on myths. Because the target markets are not only us, the young adults, but also our parents. Because uh, this this dependency has started from their uh, from their uh, generation. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to provide quality education and advices to the young people and their parents, so that they can actively resist this substance misuse. Uh, we're going to hold seminars. We can also teach them about the uh, bad effects and side effects of, of the dependency on drugs and substance abuse in schools. The next, the next part is the use of uh, the creation of public health panelists. So actually our motto will be to make every people personally responsible and take the responsibility and take care of their own health. Okay, so moving on, the, uh, the intervene early with the young adults, uh, we can actually do that consistently and force the uh, effective criminal sanctions. We are going to pass a legislation which will, uh, which won't allow any which won't allow any shops to sell any meds without the prescription of a certified doctor or a dentist or a psychiatrist and uh, support, to support to recovery the people who have reached the extreme stage that they cannot come back or they cannot refrain from this habit of popping pills will uh, provide them with psychiatric and doctor care so one of the two times that we were provided was to promote the use of healthier diet other than 
medicine dependency. So we would uh, continue our promotions through jatras in rural, rural place because uh, rural, rural area people try to buy jatras better. And then there are grocery store POSs and then SNS marketing with viral vibes, viral uh, small videos that shows the why. So okay, can we give an example? Uh, why drug use is bad and why healthy living is good and then toll free numbers to get our feedback sir and so also same goes for the SMSs and the feedback polls in the internet and, and there is influencer marketing using people and icons who stand for change in the society who stand for healthy living as our uh, project C2L that is change to live icons and lastly the overbridge hangar near markets overbridge near markets and so before we uh, we like to end with one thing, so what are you doing here? What are we doing here, Project C2L? Well, is not something vague or something like uh, not out there. It's like solid and it is ensuring that good food is out there, awareing people why drug is bad, medication uh, dependency is bad, and then shifting that habit to healthier diet, and then as the system, if, and ensuring that the system is working well with our feedback policy. And would you like? Team Gallagher like that. Uh, one you think so. So I have one more here question. You. You present, not walk too much. So, get this question. Okay. Might have some moments, that's fine. We are going to be covering it with you there. So, you know, the long screens that it is an inspection for people in front of you. You are not actually having proper eye contact with the people. So you are looking for it here as you are walking, you are looking somewhere else. So not having eye contact that really creates some kind of influence towards a proper communication channel. Okay. So please do uh, when people have their own department, it's probably not. These things will actually help you to present. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Should be feasible to. So your company is for the 20 to 30 percent people. 